Religious harmony is an integral part of Singapore's identity. It did not come about by chance, but is the result of hard work and continuous efforts by all, said Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong on Wednesday. Mr. Go was speaking at Sukas, or the Festival of Boots, organized by the Jewish Welfare Board JWB at the Jacob Ballas Center in Waterloo Street. The event also celebrates the upcoming 75th anniversary of the interreligious organization IRO in 2024. Mr. Go, who is also IRO's patron, said the organization was a ground-up initiative formed in 1949 when the religious leaders of different faiths saw the need to foster religious harmony. The government is well aware of its importance, he added. Our government played and continues to play a pivotal overarching role in forging religious harmony, he said. Singapore does not have an official religion. The government treats all religions equally and fairly. He added that the government ensures that all Singaporeans can practice the religions of their choice freely. It does this through laws public policies and strict enforcement of the law. Singapore's religious harmony and racial harmony are priceless intangible national assets and a cornerstone of the nation's political stability. Mr. Goh said, Each depends on the other. Without racial and religious harmony, there will be no political stability. Likewise, without a fair, strong government and political stability, there will be no religious or racial harmony, he said, adding that they have a symbiotic relationship. My wish is that we continue to strengthen this relationship. It is a virtuous circle we must never break, he said. Mr. Go also lauded the Jewish community, saying that while it may not be large, it has played an outsized role in Singapore's nation-building and a key role in fostering religious harmony here. He toured the Jews of Singapore Museum, which was opened in 2021 and traces the 200-year history of the Jews here. After tucking into a Tunisian dinner, he was led on a guided tour of the Mekhing above synagogue, meaning Shield of Our Fathers, which is Asia's second largest and Southeast Asia's oldest synagogue. About 150 guests attended the event, among them Rabbi Mordecai Abergil, who is Chief Rabbi of Singapore, ambassadors, leaders from different faiths and members of the Singapore Jewish community. IRO President Norm Morikan said in his address that the interfaith gathering exemplifies how different faiths can come together to participate in each other's festivals and honour our shared values. Sukas, which takes place from September 29 to October 6 in 2023, is a week-long Jewish holiday that comes five days after Yom Kippur, the Jewish New Year. It celebrates the gathering of the harvest and commemorates the divine protection of the children of Israel when they left Egypt. Sukkot is celebrated by dwelling in a foliage-covered booth known as a sukkah and by taking the four kinds of minim, or four special species of vegetation. There are about two. 000 to 3,000 Jews in Singapore, which is home to the oldest community of Jews in Asia, with more than 140 years of continuous presence here. JWB was established in 1946 to oversee and manage the Singapore Jewish community's affairs. Its founding president was Mr. David Marshall, Singapore's first chief minister. Mr. Nash Benjamin, chief executive officer of fashion retailer FJ Benjamin Holdings and JWB's current president, said that despite coming from diverse communities, Singaporeans live in peace and harmony, respecting all faiths. The situation we have today should never be taken for granted, as what we enjoy today can change. He said, It is therefore incumbent on all religious leaders to continue promoting interfaith harmony, and an evening like this promotes friendship, trust and brotherhood to our fellow Singaporeans.